Hello everyone, this is Shachaf, and I'm here to give you an update, and there's a lot of things that are going on, so let's just dive into it. First, and probably foremost, Multidag 2.0. So we just launched the Multidag 2.0 testnet, and I know that a lot of you have already seen it because there are so many tokens that are being created right now and people are uh, moving assets around, and this is exactly what we're aiming for. We are growing from a one-coin network to a multi-token network. So what we're doing with, uh, with the testnet environment is uh, that it allows us to you know, test the functionalities of Multidag 2.0 in a safe space using trial funds. So this is the prudent way to go and this is how we're gonna test drive uh, everything. And do you remember the SBG tokens that I've minted uh, in, the, in the last video? As you've all noticed, you can now generate CMD tokens yourself, and I encourage you to continuously uh, do so. And just to put things in, in, in the greater picture of things is that this unique technology, Multidag 2.0, alongside with our prudent approach to regulation and the fact that we are an enterprise-grade product is what allows us to become the enterprise layer one. This is where we're going. This is what business development is, is doing right now. This is what our devs are doing right now. This is what we're aiming for and expect news around that. So Multidag 2.0 is now in testnet environment. We've also released Explorer 2.0 uh, to accompany the testnet because you know with, with more assets, you actually need more transparency to, to the various assets on the network. So Explorer 2.0 has a new design as you've probably noticed. Uh, it also offers a variety of stats related to the trust chain, the ability to search any token that was generated, see detailed information related to that token, and so on and so forth. It also allows you uh, to access the Kodi full node list, and it also works better just in terms of, you know, we've, we've fixed a lot of uh, the scalability issues around Explorer, so you should have a smoother experience, in-depth information uh, available right now. And, you know, Bridge 2.0 is also around the corner. So that will accompany um, what is needed in Multidev 2.0. JED. So since my last update, uh, we've announced five new partnerships uh, for JED. That brings us to more than 30 partnerships for JED. Even before it's launched, JED is going to hit the ground running, as they say. We've also shared the fee structure for JED. What will be, you know, the burn mint fee, operational fee, etc., etc. Uh, so you'll have better transparency. Obviously, these can change uh, over time if, if need be, but that gives you kind of um, an insight to what's, uh, what's around the corner and, you know, with all these partnerships and, and usage and, and the fees that you can kind of uh, figure out all funnel to the treasury. We're very optimistic about it. As announced by uh, IOG, uh, the Vasil hard fork mainnet has been delayed uh, by a few weeks. Um, as, as we've said in the past, we're going to have to align with uh, this timeline. Uh, we're going to launch JED only after Vasil hard fork uh, has happened because it adds a lot to scalability, uh, which actually adds a lot to security. And this is why we are aligning uh, to this timeline. Yes, I would rather it would be faster, but, you know, with... Uh, with a financial instrument, like what's going to be the main stable coin or for uh, the Cardano network, there is no way that we're going to rush this. This needs to be perfect. And, and, you know, we need to make sure that we tick all the boxes before we launch JED. Better late than rush in, in this case. And this is how JED is going to be. But again, when you look into the horizon, we will continue to form more partnerships for JED, uh, continue to uh, you know, do our business development work in the market to make sure that there's a lot of liquidity for JED, uh, and we'll continue to upgrade everything that we can on our side before launching JED. Uh, but uh, JED is definitely worth uh, the while and definitely worth your wait. Um, as I've said once, and it turned out to be a meme, which is fine, you know, patience is bitter, uh, but the fruits are sweet. Uh, more on that, Adapay. There is a new Adapay plugin now on uh, Odoo. Uh, so uh, have a look. Treasury. So we, we've received a lot of feedback for the Treasury, and we continuously update the, the Treasury as, as people tell us more and more things that they, they want to see more of or less of. 
we've noticed that not a lot of people are using the x3 multiplier and other people have asked for a greater multiplier than, than 4x. So we've updated that. Uh, we've removed the 3x multiplier and inserted the 8x uh, multiplier. That's not the only thing or the last thing that we're going to do in the treasury. A lot of you said, hey, you know, I want to lock my Cody for a long period of time and be compensated accordingly. And this is also something that is, uh, that is coming and I'll, I'll discuss that a bit, uh, a bit later. We've also uh, gave you a sneak peek to Cody's new website. You know, we've, we've progressed and advanced a lot over time and the website that we had didn't really reflect that. So the new website is, is meant to align everybody with our vision. It will also provide you information about all of Cody's products and services, including JET, CDI, Adapay, and more. It will take us a few more weeks, and then we'll uh, launch the website. I know you're gonna, uh, I know you're gonna love it. So what's coming? During the next uh, couple of weeks, uh, we will be testing Multidec 2.0 on Testnet. Obviously, as soon as the testing period uh, will end, and once we clean up any bugs that we uh, may found, the mainnet will be launched. That will begin. Uh, Cody's new era of allowing enterprises and developers to issue their own tokens on top of the trust chain protocol. So this is seminal. Probably the first token that we launched though, um, and without giving too much uh, information right now, will be the Treasury's governance token, right? So uh, for your active participation in, in Cody's Treasury, there will be a governance token uh, that will be airdropped to you. We will give you more details about how this is going to work. What I can say right now is that uh, people that will commit to longer period times staking, even longer than what we have right now, so that will be part of the process, uh, will be given more of the governance token because obviously they are aligned with, uh, with the treasury. And the governance token for Cody will, uh, will have its own utility. And uh, we'll talk about this in a very specific article and, and set out the timeline for everything so you'll know how to get uh, the governance token for Cody because we're not going to sell it. Uh, the only way to gonna, that you'll get it is by actively participating in Cody's treasury or by promoting uh, the Cody's ecosystem and more details uh, of that uh, will, be, uh, will be given over time but not too long now. All right, that's all uh, I have for today. As a lot of you have, have mentioned in, in Twitter and other social networks, we continuously build uh, winter or summer. It never mattered to us and it will never matter to us because you know, we look at things in the perspective of, of years, uh, not cycles. So this is how Conti will continue to evolve. Very grateful to, to be able to launch the testnet uh, for Multiduck 2.0 because you know, this is where we're going from you know, being a one-dimensional network to a three-dimensional network, uh, and the potential is, is amazing. So thank you for uh, watching this video. Stay quiet.